there has been a lot of hype around Devon, which is an AI software engineer AI, which enables you to create end-to-end -end applications. Plus, it does few more things. In this video, I am going to show you GPT Pilot's newer version, where you can accomplish similar things, though at not at that level, but still quite good enough. GPT Pilot allows you to create end-to-end -end full stack applications for free locally, privately. Now I have done few videos on GPT Pilot few months back and it is quite good and recently they have released an enhanced version with lot of bug fixes and stuff so let's try it out again. We will be installing it locally and then we will be playing around with it. I will be using GPT-4 but you can use any open source system by using Olama. All you need is an endpoint for your model and that's about it. First thing, let's go at the top of this repo and I'll drop the link in video's description. Just grab this URL and let me go to my local system which is Ubuntu 22.04. Let me git clone this repo. That is done. Let's clear the screen and cd to GPT pilot. Let me show you the content of uh, this repo. Now, um, next thing we need to do is to create a virtual environment. Let me create it which will keep uh, everything clean and nice and tidy so let's create it uh, the name of virtual environment is simply pilot dash env so virtual environment has been created let's activate it so that we will be able to use it and let's there you go so you can see in the parenthesis we have our virtual environment set now let's install all the requirements we are already in the root of the repo so i'm just saying pip install dash r requirement.txt and everything will, will be installed in this repo so let's wait for it to finish you don't take too long that's it so let me clear my screen and now let's um, there should be a pilot directory yep there is a pilot directory let's go into that let's see its content there should be an env file here so we, what we need to do we need to okay i think it's a hidden file there you go so we have this dot env dot example which is a hidden file we need to create the file so dot env so we, i'm just going to say this to dot env let me clear my screen and then let's open this file in your editor of choice now in this one as I said, I'm using OpenAI, so I'll be using OpenAI's endpoint here. And they have given an example in this file and then my OpenAI API key. So I will put my keys here and endpoint which is given here and then I will save it and I'll get out of this file and we will proceed further. So let me paste my key and save the file. And I'll keep rest of the stuff as is. I have put in my key and I have saved the file. Let's quickly check ls. It should be a main.py and that is what we need to run so simply do python 3 main.py and press enter here so you can see that your gpt pilot has started it is asking you now all the project related information and that is the beauty of this that it just walks you through step by step ask intelligent question with the help of your llm and then creates a project for you also if you want to you know do some work now and come back to it later all you need to do is to just grab this um, python main.py and app id at the top banner and then you can just simply run that in the future to come back to this project so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a simple python cli app here i'll just say my wiki press enter and then it is saying that describe your app in as much detail as possible also it is saying that gpt pilot currently works best for web app project using node express and mongodb you can also use it with other technology but you may run into problems react so react doesn't work that much so let's create something in node express and mongodb so i will i'm just going to say here that i'm asking it to create a node.js cli app that organizes your text notes into an interactive wiki. It auto tags notes by keywords, interlinks related entries and creates a searchable database di directly from your terminal. So let's press enter. It is saying it is description seems a bit short. The better you can describe the better GPT pilot. And then it is giving me some of the uh, product ideas. 
okay so now it is saying that what specific command would like the CLI to support so I'm just going to say here so let me give it one of the CLI command so here I'm asking it this command so I have just given it a command here you can see wiki CLI add and I have described it let me press enter it is working and it is saying that do you want the app to automatically generate tags and I'll say no let's try to finish it off I'll you know and you can see that how intelligent question this gpt pilot is asking totally related to the code would you like to include a command to view a list of just say yes for the command to view and search notes how would you like the output to be formatted should it be displayed full content of need uh, i'll just say just titles and tags Let's keep it simple. Uh, nope. Uh, no. There you go. So now it is giving us a summary of what we have given it. All the you know overall description, features, and then view search nodes, all the technical capabilities, awesome stuff. There you go. So it is telling us now operational details. How cool is that? Simply out of this world. Now it is asking it, does this sound good? Does it require capture all the information? Can we proceed with this project description? If, if so, just press enter. Otherwise, you can just tell what's missing. This is awesome. Let's press enter. And now it is going to create us. There you go. So it is planning the pro, uh, project architecture in the JSON. There you go. How cool is that? All the project dependencies are there and then execute command so i'm just going to say yes here node not found it is saying that i think it is going to install it before proceeding with that so i would need to install the node on my current system and then i could go into another terminal and install and come back so you can see how easy and cool it is to create this application in this one so in my another terminal i created i installed the node by just doing apt sudo and install a node and then now it is proceeding further so this is one thing that whatever technology you are using you need to get it installed previously i'm not sure if it can do it for you maybe devon can do or maybe it's a future uh, future feature in this one but still pretty good i would say there you go so it is now starting the development it is initializing the project with npm and then npm install and all that stuff there you go how cool is that and then you can um you know keep proceeding with it you i would um and it, it is it can debug this issue for you it can install it and it can go further into the detail okay now another thing i want to make sure that you are aware of is that the cost is one issue here so you need to make sure that whatever api you are using has plenty of credit and if you are building a huge large project the cost could go out of hand fairly quickly so be aware of that keep an eye on your open ai account but that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this gpt pilot the alternate of devin in the video play around with it let me know your thought and it is improving day by day by the way and there are a lot of other features which you can use with it i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching